this world uses finances to either lift you up or sort of imprison you. Every single step of the way I had to figure out every single process from money to renovations to how are you empowered when you don't even know if you'll get a mortgage. My name is Lisa Phillips. I am born and raised in Las Vegas and my occupation is real estate investor and I also coach people. All right, hold on one second. Go get another dress on. You have a lot in there, okay? I did not know what it meant to own a home when I was younger. I grew up in a working class, lower income neighborhood. My dad woke up every morning at 2.30 my entire life to go to work. All right, you good, baby? Did you do your prayers? I bought my first house right out of college and I didn't have the concept of a housing crash. <laughs> so I went out and purchased something completely overpriced. Try to keep it for about two years and through two layoffs, but it was a very big crash. And at the second layoff, I couldn't keep the house. I lost it in foreclosure. It actually sparked me in the real estate investing game because I was in a region where I found out that you can buy houses for $35,000. That's what I started doing and really focusing on low income areas, but just being very discerning about vetting them and analyzing them and comparing two different neighborhoods that might have the same housing costs. Low cost housing exists. You just have to have a discerning eye. And I'm actually a big advocate of you learning how to buy your primary residence like it's an investment. So I actually think your first property should be an investment, even if you live in it. So go ahead and just do that and um, and then set up a time for sometimes this week. So you have the group coaching and then one on one. It'll really set things up for you. So you need to do the work, finding the market and then a house. That's the best house for that price range is sort of like the system. For me and teaching people how to purchase undervalued, how to analyze the rents and the neighborhoods for future growth. Me and my clients and my community, we've been able to create something out of nothing. We're able to cobble together different aspects that are available to us to start this investing process. And we don't have to beg the banks for money. The people who are working on their financial education, all of a sudden they get out of debt. They raise their credit score. And they have much more coming to them 